Welcome to our video series where we are looking at the CAT PAT or Computer Application Technology Practical Assessment Task. We are busy with the phase one and this is our third video in the series where we're going to look at how we can write our task definition. So let's do it. So in our previous video we created our cover page and we did our table of contents and we had our headings that we had throughout our document. So now we're going to jump down to the task definition heading and here's where we're going to write our task definition. So over here it says that we need to basically answer these four questions. What is the current situation? What's the focus, the purpose? How do we go about doing our investigation? And who's the target audience? To ensure that you get the marks, it is a good idea to make sure it is very clear that you are answering these particular questions. So having those words in those particular paragraphs. So you can have like a paragraph for each one. And it's very important to have that particular phrasing in each of those paragraphs so that it is clear that you are addressing that particular issue. You can even be clearer by having these as headings in your task definition. So I'm going to copy them and I'm going to paste them over here. Now you can make these as heading twos if you would like. That's up to you. So you can give them some nice focus. And then underneath them, you're going to address each of those issues. So if we look at, I wouldn't go larger than font size 12. And when they talk about the current situation, provide a clear statement about the current situation. Why are you doing this investigation? Now I know you might want to say because I need a mark for my pet, but that's not actually the reason. You want to take this from the perspective of what's the goal of your pet? What is it that you want to achieve? So for example, in this pet the topic is the ethical use of artificial intelligence so why are you doing this research what is the problem that needs to be addressed and be sure not to answer the question in this task definition this is being done before the task is even being done this is what is going to happen going forward this is you thinking about what you are about to do because we're doing this in the phase one you can't be writing down already answers that you think are going to pop up the investigation will reveal those and your analysis will reveal those answers. You want to mention what is the situation that needs to be addressed. So a clear statement of the problem when it comes to the ethics of AI, like what are the issues that are plaguing people? Think of the sector. So this boils down a lot to the research that you've done, looking at the different websites and finding out what are the key issues in this particular field. So provide a very clear statement of the problem or the current situation. So that will go over there. Then what will the focus and the purpose or the desired outcome of the investigation? You want people to find out what are the best ways to use AI ethically, for example, something along those lines. You want to talk about not the necessarily what the solutions are, but you want to say, I want to find out what is going to be the best way to do this going forward. Look at sentences like this. What is the impact going to be for this particular event? Obviously, whatever I say here is going to be dependent on what your topic is, but ask yourself things. What is the impact of this going to be? In this particular topic, we're talking about the ethical issues. What is the impact about not using AI ethically? Things like that. We want to find out what are the causes? What is causing people to use it unethically? What are the causes of the different issues around that topic? How can they be solved? Now, you're not going to be mentioning what the solutions are, but, but you're going to be saying your focus is to determine how they can be solved, how we can find solutions for people to use it ethically, how we can train people. So th those are the types of words you do. What is influencing this particular situation? What is affecting it? How can we influence others in order to do better, for example? We want to inform people. Remember, you presenting this research to someone at the end of the project. So the idea is that you want to inform people. What are the problems that they are facing? I want to promote better solutions. Remember, in all of these questions that you're going to be talking about in the focus and purpose, you're not actually giving solutions. You're just talking about what you are wanting to find out so that at the end of the discussion, at the end of the research, at the end of the report, you can then go and answer technically those questions. So use those words to help guide you with sentences to use in your focus and purpose of your investigation. And then how will I go about the investigation considering all the PAT requirements? Now that's pretty much decided for you. You've been told how the structure and layout of the PAT's going to be. And if I actually go to the document and you scroll further up to this page, this page is quite important because this gives you an overview of everything that you're going to be doing. So you could technically write a little paragraph summarizing the three phases. Mention the three phases. Mention in phase one, we're going to be creating a document with 
the idea that we want to do this, this, and this. We want to research. Don't focus too much on we want to create a document and that's it. We are researching ideas that we're going to present in a document. The focus being on the ideas, focusing on the questions that we want to ask. Um, phase two, it's not we're going to create a questionnaire. We're going to use a questionnaire to find out information about what people think about this particular topic. We're going to analyze that information. The focus is not necessarily on the product. It's what we are using the product for. Talking about in the phase two, we're doing a questionnaire, we're doing a spreadsheet and database, analyzing it, refining our final report. And then at the end, we want to finalize our report, give our findings, use the word findings and recommendations. You want to mention that and present all of this information in a well-designed website. If you can summarize this quite nicely, you can probably get everything you need for this particular part over here. Maybe have a paragraph for each phase. Again, try make sure that you are mentioning the word we are going to do the following. Again, just a reminder, if you don't have these headings, make sure that you use those key words like the current situation, focus and purpose, how we're going to do the investigation, the target audience. Make sure you use those words in the paragraphs that you are talking about. You want to make sure whoever's marking it can clearly see that you are addressing all four of the issues. And then the final one, it doesn't necessarily have to be a full paragraph. It can be just a sentence, but you want to be talking about who the target audience is. Who is it that needs to hear the message that you are researching or trying to find out? Hopefully you've thought about who your target audience is, what sector you're going to be focusing on. So for example, in this year's project with the ethical use of AR, if you're thinking about the medical sector, then you want your target audience to be people in the medical field, doctors and nurses, so that you can approach them and show them this is the information. If you are doing the education field, then your target audience is going to be, we're going to present this information to our learners and teachers so that they know how to use AI ethically in learning environments. Remember, the target audience doesn't necessarily mean the people that you're going to survey. It's just who's going to need to hear the message that you are promoting. So that can be just one sentence, but make it quite clear. Maybe even mention a demographic, for example, a particular country, maybe specify South Africa. Maybe you want to specify in your city or town. If you want to focus your project or your research to a particular area specifically. So that's what I would do. If you fill out all those things quite nicely, then over here in the phase one, you will get a clear answer for the current situation. You'll be clear about the focus and the purpose. It'll be clear what your investigation is going, how you're going to go about your investigation, and you'll be clear about your target audience. Take note, they do mention the target audience should be realistic. Technically, a high school student wouldn't necessarily be presenting information to doctors and People in higher businesses, maybe you want to focus more at a lower level for most students at school, that type of thing. So think about that. But if you do all four correctly, all questions and criteria clearly answered and in your own words, that's key. Don't copy someone else. Don't just copy and paste something that you've seen online and don't use AI. It's going to be easy to pick up if it's not your own words. Then you will get four out of four for the section and you'll be on a great start to getting great marks for your pet. Use this information, go start your task definition, go fill out that information and get those four marks now. For more videos on the pet, make sure you subscribe to at Mr. Long IT and Cat and share us with your friends. We also have a pet guide to download it at tinyurl.com slash Mr. Long Pet Guide Cat. And together we won't do it the long way, we're going to do it the Mr. Long way.